Hi, I'm Anthony and I'm a paramedic and today I'm going to demonstrate the use of a sound splint. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to say that the patient here has a fracture to his right wrist. As with any splinting, we always must carry out CSMs first. Circulatory function. Can you look away there? Tell me what I'm doing. Excellent. And can you move your fingers for me? Excellent. Okay. He's got circulation, sensory function, and motor function, and all this. Now we're going to apply a sound splint. Remove this sound splint from its packaging, and then we want to mold it to the shape of the arm. We can mold this on our own arm first to prevent causing any pain to the patient as we do it. You can make a twist at the bottom of the sound splint like so, so the patient can grip this. When we're happy with our shape, place the splint under the wrist of the patient. It's important when we're splinting anything that we immobilize the joint above and below the site of injury. Happy our sound splint is in place? Does that feel comfortable? Yeah. Excellent. We then get a crepe bandage, remove it from the packaging. Can you place your finger here for me? Excellent. And wrap the crepe bandage around your sound splint. When you're happy that the sound splint is in place and it's providing enough support for the patient, we then must carry out CSNs again. Circulatory function. Can you look away from me? Tell me what I'm doing. Excellent. Sensory function and motor function. Can you move your fingers for me? Good stuff. We will then get a sling and keep this compact to the patient to add additional support.